With the Freeform tool, you are free to explore smooth, organic shapes that are difficult to achieve using normal, history-based, parametric modeling commands. You can combine freeform shapes with parametric modeling and direct editing techniques to create compelling designs that are demanded in today's competitive marketplace. Creating freeform primitives to align near or around existing solid features can be difficult. In this lesson, you will discover the Freeform Convert tool, which makes it easy to reference existing solid feature surfaces to create freeform surfaces. On the ribbon, 3D Model tab, Create Freeform panel, select Convert. Select the top cylindrical portion of the handle. The Convert to Freeform dialog box appears. For length, set the spacing as uniform and the faces to 8. For width, set the spacing as uniform and the faces to 6. Click OK. A Freeform feature is added to the browser and the Freeform tab appears in the ribbon. To apply changes symmetrically to the surface, you must add symmetry. From the Symmetry panel, select Symmetry, and the dialog box appears. For Face 1, select a top face to the left of the center line, and the top face to the right of the center line for Face 2. Click OK. Now, you need to give the freeform volume. From the Modify panel, Select Thicken, and the dialog box appears. Select the freeform surface. Set the thickness to equal 5 millimeters, and then cycle through the available types. Select Sharp. Ensure the direction is outward and normal. Click OK. To provide more surface control during editing, you can divide some faces into smaller faces. Select Subdivide from the Modify panel. In the Subdivide dialog box, you are prompted to select Faces. Press Ctrl to select multiple faces. Along the top of the surface, left of the center line, select the second and third faces from the end of the shape closest to the spout. Set the width of the faces to 2 and the length of the faces to 2. Use Exact for the mode to preserve the current shape. This adds divisions along the circumference. Click OK. Now you can modify the freeform shape to fit a hand. Orbit the model to view the bottom. Starting from the end closest to the spout, select the curved edge between the second and third face on the surface. Right-click and select Edit Form from the Marking menu. In the Edit Form dialog box, select Translation Mode. This reduces the number of manipulators on the screen. On the View Cube, select the back face to view the shape from the end. Compare the space coordinate systems of World and Local. Select the right face on the view cube for a different preview. The design intent is to move the edge perpendicular to the surface. To achieve this, click Locate in the dialog box. Click any point on the bottom center line. The local space mode aligns to the edge. Click the arrow perpendicular to the surface. In the edit box of the mini toolbar, type 5 millimeters. Change the value to negative as needed to move the edge outward. Click OK. Although it is not necessary to exit the Edit Form dialog box to edit other faces, edges, or points, Closing the editor can provide a better view of the model. No undo history is lost. Next, you will create a thumb rest. 
Orbit the model to view the top again. Activate Edit Form. Press Control and then select three edges that divide the smaller faces created earlier by the Subdivide tool. The edges are the ones that are parallel to the center line. In the dialog box, select Local as the space coordinate system. Translate the edges outward 3 millimeters. Select the point on the center line between the second and third face. Translate that point down 1 millimeter. Click OK. Orbit the model to review the edits. Click Finish Freeform on the exit panel to exit the freeform environment. To make the grip appear more realistic, you can change its appearance. Select the freeform shape from the Solid Bodies folder in the browser. From the Appearance drop-down menu, select Rubber, Blue. Creating freeform shapes to align with existing solid features is made easier with the Freeform Convert tool. Use this tool to help you build your freeform shapes around your solid models.